Welcome to the fifth issue of the Horseman's Gazette, a quarterly video series that brings the knowledge of an eclectic group of horsemen and women directly to you. The primary goal of the Horseman's Gazette is education. We know that some concepts and fundamental exercises are better taught by demonstration. For viewers, this is a chance to learn from clinicians and cowboys as they work with their own horses at their own pace. Becoming a better horseman is a lifelong process. And if you're serious about becoming the best you can be, now you can take advantage of having access to some of the best in the horse world. Each issue features several how-to articles for riders of different levels, a profile of an artist or gear maker, and a wreck story, which is a cautionary tale that lets you benefit from someone else's experience. So come along for the ride. You and your horse will be glad that you did. Building on his last segment of swinging a rope on a young horse for the first time, Brian Newbert demonstrates some basics that will help a horse continue to have good roping experiences. Brian explains the importance of having a horse be able to track cattle before you rope. He also demonstrates how to use a knot rope to give your horse experience feeling the pull of something alive on the end of the rope. When you're out riding in the real world, you'll encounter obstacles that you don't have in the arena. Having some strategies on how to approach obstacles can make the difference between enjoying the rest of your ride or not. Montana horseman John Ensign demonstrates how he would prepare a horse to cross water. When we arrived to film with Joe Walter this past summer, he had a young horse that had spent some time in a stall rather than her regular routine of being turned out. This created an opportunity to visit about what a rider might do when they find themselves in the same situation. In this segment, Joe discusses and demonstrates ways that he would adjust to fit a horse that has more energy than you might want or expect. He shows ways that you can put that energy to good use instead of being upset or frustrated by it. In part three of a series of foundation exercises, Martin Black builds on his previous two exercises and demonstrates how he would begin to build a solid stop in a horse. Naturally, Martin addresses not only the physical aspects of preparing to stop, but the importance of considering a horse's mental state when teaching him to stop with effort. Most riders agree that having hands that can be used independently of other aids are a necessary component to clear and effective riding. Understanding how your shoulder joints work is a necessary piece to understanding the puzzle of independent hands. In this segment, Wendy Murdoch helps a student rider find her shoulder joints and explores the changes that come about in her riding and her horse when she can move those joints more freely.